Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can schedule posts in bulk via CSV file inside of the social media planner. If you want to stay consistent publishing your content on social media, this is the video for you. So first head over to marketing on the left, click on social planner at the top. Then we want to click plus new post. Here you see the option to upload a CSV file. So click on that. And here you can see a field where you can drag and drop your CSV file so it can upload all the data to the system. However, if you're not sure how to format your CSV file, you can download a sample file right here. Let's have a quick look how that CSV file should be formatted. So it's really important to stick to the given format right here. Otherwise, there will be errors uploading your content. So first in the column A, you can see the specific date format that we would like you to follow. So you can see here the year first, then the month, then the day, and the hour, the minute, and the second. Okay. So typically, if you add a date into Excel sheets, it automatically formats in a different way. Like let's say we're going to put 24th of December. Okay. And then hit enter. It just does that. Okay, or any other formatting, but it typically doesn't just jump to this particular format. So please make sure that you always have this format added. Again, the year, the month, the date, the exact day, the hours, the minute, and the second when you want to publish it, okay? Two more things right here. If the date column is empty, and let's say you fill out all the other columns, but not the date, then the post will be set to draft automatically because there is nothing the system can fall back to when to publish that post, okay? So when it's empty, it will be set to draft. And another thing is that you have to add the white space right here, one empty space in between the date and the time. So see right here, you see that if I remove that the white space, okay, it looks like this and this way it will not work. So you have to add an empty space like this. Also, please note that the time and date format works in a 24 hour format and not in a 12 hour format. So you wouldn't say 1 p.m. You would just say 13 for 2 p.m. You would put 14 and so on and so forth. OK, also, please note that you must schedule the posts at least 10 minutes before you want them to go public. OK, so let's say this post gets scheduled at 8 p.m. Right. 20. Then we should at least schedule upload this CSV file to the system system at 19.50, 10 minutes before 8 p.m., okay? So that the system has time to read the Excel sheet and get all the data it needs and puts all the actions in place that need to happen in order to schedule these posts. So that was the date and time. Next up is the content column, okay? So the content column, that's where your caption goes and that's where your hashtags go as well. There are different limit rules for how many characters you can add per social media platform. So for the Facebook page, group is not supported it anymore okay remember that so for the facebook page you can have 62,000 characters inside of this content box for the business instagram account you can have 2200 characters and this includes both right like the text the actual caption including the character count for the hashtags and next up your linkedin page as well as the profile allows you to put 3000 characters now next up let's talk about link OG meta URL. What does that mean? This means you're just going to paste a link that you would like to show up as a preview inside of your content captions, right? So let's say, for example, you would like to share an article that you publish on some magazine, for example, entrepreneur.com. You would just head over, you just grab that URL at the top, okay? And you would paste that URL right here into that box. This way, the system will pull the content that you put under the content tab here, right here, including hashtags, and it will show the link right here where people then can click on and read further information about that article. Next up, let's talk about image URLs, GIF URLs, and video URLs. So because of a recent update of Google, now there will be some problem if you have these images, GIFs, or videos stored in a Google Drive. Therefore, we recommend you just store them under the media storage inside the CRM. So just as a reminder, click on media storage on the left and then upload the data you would like to pull into the Excel sheet. Let's say here's the GIF, that's the JPEG or PNG, and then the, here is the video. In order to get that URL, you just click on the three dots right here and then get link. Then you go back to your Excel sheet and the GIF, for example, you would then paste the GIF URL and the videos, you would paste the video URL and on the image, you would paste the image URL. The maximum amount of images supported is 10. So if you have 10 images that you would like to put up as a carousel, for example, you can do that. You would just go in here, 
paste the URL, then hit comma, space, and paste the next link. Make sure to check the image, video, and text guidelines below as well. Please note that if you would like to post a GIF, then that's the only media allowed to be posted. You can then not add another image and add another video. If you want to post a GIF, the GIF has to be the only media source that you would like to schedule. And the same counts for the videos. If you would like to post a video, then that's the only media you can post. You cannot post another GIF in addition to a video, for example. Also good to know you can post up to 10 videos similar to the image URLs. You just add multiple URLs to this field separated by commas. Now, whenever you're ready, you can download the CSV file, click on file, download, select CSV, then get back into the CRM, drag and drop the file into the field. You can see the system is reading the CSV file. And down here, you can again read what I just explained to you. Also good to know that you can put up to 90 posts per CSV. So theoretically, you can schedule three months in advance, which is really amazing. Now the upload has been completed. Let's hit next. Then select the social media accounts where you would like these posts to be scheduled to. Then here you can decide if you want to send this to approval to your social media manager, for example. We're going to leave this unchecked for now, and then we're going to hit create. Now you can see here, the action is still in progress. And once we refreshed once, you can see the status is in review. Now you can hover over this image. It says review and schedule. You can click on that in order to review what you've just uploaded. And three of the four posts have been accepted. However, there is one error right here. Let's see what that is. Hover over this. Oh, and then the schedule date has already passed. So obviously the schedule date has to be in the future, a minimum 10 minutes before you would like it to go out, okay? Now, please note that you have to get rid of the errors, fix the errors before you can actually schedule the whole CSV file, right? So in order to fix this, to just click on the four errors right here, the window will pop up. Let's go down. Here is the date, right? So let's click the drop-down menu and let's say delete, or you can save it for a later time. Let's delete it for now. Hit delete. And then the post has been removed. The rest looks all good, right? There's not more error messages. That means we are ready. So let's hit import posts top right corner. The system asks you, hey, are you sure you want to import those posts? This action cannot be undone. So really make sure that if you're uploading, let's say 90 posts to your system, that you have checked everything, that it's the right copy, that's the right links, the right images, because if not, you have to go individually into the posts and change it manually, right? So hit import. And here we go. You can see the status has been completed. If you go back to the planner, you can see here under type all these posts, right? Under type, we can see CSV file upload. So we always know, okay, this has been added via the Excel sheet. Down here, you see another post where you can see, hey, that is a recurring post that has actually been scheduled through the post composer. Also good to know the 90 posts that you're allowed to schedule, they count for all the social media platforms. It's not 90 posts for Facebook. It's not 90 90 posts for Insta and it's not 90 posts for LinkedIn. It is 90 posts collectively for all accounts. Okay. That's it already. This is how you upload social media posts in bulk up to 90 pieces of content via CSV file into the social media planner. I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one.